Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So my name is Indah Pusbitasari, and my student's number is one eight six one one zero forty three. So here I would like to summarize uh, the article that you give for us as a final examination. Here I would like to summarize the article one that is titled Understanding the Developmental Trajectory of Second Language Equation and Foreign Language Teaching and Learning Using the Model of Domain Learning. So uh, this article tells about uh, using the model of domain learning as a tool for teaching and learning foreign language and understanding more about the development nature of second language equation. So in this article, there will some aspect that will discuss further, which are review the aspect of the development of SLA in the past, review the model of domain learning, and knowing how the literature about second language equation development in the past is uh, supported by a model of domain learning. So first, I will explain the part one that is uh, the spec of second language equation development. Uh, so uh, there are multiple viewpoints of our uh, overview of second language equation. And the conclusion that I got for the few points about the second language equation development is first, learning a language needs understanding and achieve the information linguistic level such word, phrase, sentence, and text. So there are three ways which the transfer occurs at the word level, which are a word association model, a concept association model, and a revised hierarchical model. Uh, so it was said uh, from Kroll and Stewart that I remember. So a word association model is like uh, you, you, uh, we, we should translate from L1 to L2. So there is a link with L1 or language 1. And in a concept of association model, translation occurs through the meaning of the word itself. And for revised hierarchical model, there is a link between a word uh, association model and a concept association model. So it means like there is a link with language 1 to language 2. And there is a meaning of the word itself. Because there is so many models to take apart as a guide, as a guide of the second language equation so uh, model of domain language will be the option of uh, the model to guide the development of second language equation to achieve two aims that is focus on cognitive and non-cognitive to achieve uh, the performance itself uh, so now i will explain my understanding of the model of domain learning so that i tell before that mode of domain learning is one of the options that could guide uh, development of second language equation. So in this model, there are three forces that could apply to second language equation. So first is knowledge. So it's like we understood uh, the principle to arrange a simple sentence from language to could be uh, the domain of knowledge in the language, which is like uh, knowing the meaning of a word such as Baka, which means stupid. Baka is from uh, Japanese language. So uh, then the second force of model of domain learning is strategies. It means like when we using a strategy to exercise while reading a part of the text to remember the detail. Or like when we interpreting a text with our knowledge before. And the last of the force of this model is about interest. So there is two forms of the interest which are situational and individual interest. So this in situational interest is like uh, our attention or focus on the text when we did assignment. And on the other hand, individual interest is like when we feel so excited when reading an article because we like that. And model of domain learning uh, consists of three stages which are acclimation, competence, and expertise. So next for part three, I will explain the model of domain learning that apply to second language equation. So in this section, there will be the evidence of model, uh, the detail of knowledge, strategies, and interests from, model, from this model, model of domain learning. 
And in order to reach competence, the learners require systematic instruction in domain knowledge. So for the learners, domain knowledge could be reached by different tasks, knowledge for constructing meaning, and knowledge of language gained from metacognitive experience. Next, uh, for topic knowledge. Topic knowledge is more determined on situational and depending on the needs of the learners and the context. So, for example, when someone needs knowledge of specialized vocabulary to listen a broadcast, that's the topic knowledge. So, uh, the increasing of topic knowledge is like how to form a question in a language. And for the language itself, there will be a difference during second language education. For example, when Indonesian people learn English in USA versus Indonesian people that learn English language in their country. So the, the difference is more likely how they achieve the knowledge of the language and the needs to do it. So next, the development of knowledge, strategies, and interests is related to second language learning. Uh, so, in order for learners to develop domain and topic knowledge in a second language, those learners need to post the required strategies for building that knowledge. For example, with clue word strategy, we use using surrounding text to conclude the meaning of an unknown word that may be necessary to build stores of vocabulary knowledge. So, domain knowledge uh, may help build domain knowledge about writing in a second language, specifically domain knowledge about how someone uses a language to clearly and communicate with the readers. And on the other hand, store of domain and topic knowledge of the second language is effectively used uh, for the strategy. For example, like if we want to use clue word strategy, we should have enough vocabulary knowledge to hone in clue word strategy. And last, domain knowledge, topic knowledge, and strategy could not be developed without the interest. In another word, someone should have the effective will, effective uh, interest to engage in second language equation tasks, which are uh, situational and individual interest that I to told you before. And without continuing it again with tasks or we practice it again and again, it is likely that the knowledge would not be moved into our long memory. For example, we see the Korean word in a book for once. Then uh, someone asks us to translate that word for months again later. It will be difficult for us to translate the word. But if the uh, if we see uh, Korean and English translation of that word multiple times for multiple times, it will be possible for us to translate it later if someone asks us to translate it. So next, the part four, I will explain the future research in second language equation using the model of domain learning. So there are three ways model could be used in second language equation. First, the knowledge should become increasingly principal. Second, more strategies should be used to lead to better language performance, it should be focused on the competence of using the strategy. And third, the interrelation between knowledge, strategy, and interest in second language acquisition can be better understood at each stage of expertise. So yeah, that's all about my summaries of this article 1. Okay, thank you sir.